Over on the bank, there are three or four sunflowers standing together like a huddle of tall people. The sunflowers have sturdy pale green stalks with pale green leaves fluttering in the air. Their round yellow faces gaze out across the river. Something about the sunflowers seems calm and content. Nothing could really worry them. And they nod their heavy heads as the water flows by. As we come closer, the sunflowers seem to be swaying. Perhaps they're dancing to a tune that only sunflowers can hear. The rhythms of the song, like the rhythms of the ripples on the water, as the boat drifts further along. In the sunlight, the sunflowers make shadows on the grass. And as the sunflowers sway, their shadows sway too. The breeze drops a little, and the sunflowers grow still. Their stalks hardly seem to be moving at all. And the boat continues to drift, lulled by the water's gentle rhythm. Partly hidden in the reeds at the edge of the water is the submerged trunk of a fallen tree. It has probably been here a while, soaking a long wooden log in a long, slow river. At one end of the log, the bark has come away from the trunk. Soft, green moss is growing on the log like a thick, comfortable rug. As we come closer, it's easier to see the patterns in the patches of bark on the log. There are swirls of dark green and lines of dark grey and circular knots in the wood where the branches have broken away. The boat glides by alongside the log with the rhythms of the water bringing it closer. And right in the middle of the submerged tree trunk there's a plump little frog. Its skin is a green and grey colour, like the colour of the log. And it has eyes like dark, round pebbles. As the frog sits there, its chest expands as it breathes. And then it lets out its breath. And the frog breathes in again. As the frog 
sits there breathing, we glide along. The river curves gently and then eventually straightens out. The sky above us is a deep, dusky color. The bank slopes gently upward, and on the slopes there's a large orchard. There are a few dozen apple trees with low, leafy branches. The color of the leaves is a deep, juicy green. And on each branch there are clusters of round apples. The apples are a dull red color with flecks of pale green. The apples in the clusters are large and ripe. And where the clusters grow thickest, the branches hang low. The boat passes beneath the apple trees like a warm, pleasant thought, drifting along on the meandering current. Above the orchard, a wispy cloud floats into view and hangs there for a while. And then the cloud fades away into the dusk, dissolving away as if it were never there at all. On some of the apple trees, branches are overhanging the river. As the boat passes by, an apple falls from its branch, dropping into the water with a deep, satisfying plop. The apple is bobbing along in the water as we float on by. Growing out of the riverbed, there are clumps of waterweed, long green strands flowing as the current flows. The strands tangle together as the river moves around them, and then the strands come untangled and float loosely again. Far beneath the surface, a fish comes swimming from out of the water weeds. The fish's skin is a soft grey colour, patterned with brown speckles. Beneath the fish, the riverbed is covered with grey and brown pebbles. The boat eases along in the calm, clear water. As it drifts downstream, the fish swims along beside it.